Now for truth and no faking, Kathleen is over the big board. Good evening to you. Ten days ago, Canada paid tribute to a Ukrainian uh, man uh, in Parliament in the presence of Vladimir Zelensky, no less. It turned out that man was actually an ex-Nazi Ukrainian, but he fought on the side of the Nazis in a branch of the SS, which I think the Simon Wiesel Centre said were responsible for killing thousands of people. It's a huge, huge embarrassment for Canada, and obviously this has resulted in, surprise, surprise, some misinformation, which you are now going to illuminate for us. That's right, Mark. You well resumed it. It's called the Nazi Gate during President Zelensky's visit to Canada on September 22nd, when the Canadian Parliament did a standing ovation for Yaroslav Hunka, who was originally hailed as a, a Ukrainian-Canadian a World War II a veteran, uh, but who actually served in a Nazi military unit during the war. Uh, following this incident, the Canadian Speaker of a Parliament announced his resignation on September 26th, as Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau also issued an apology for the invite of a Nazi a veteran, a colossal error that was uh, no doubt exploited by the Kremlin uh, to spread anti anti-Ukrainian propaganda, uh, which, whose uh, Russia's main narrative for the invasion is to denazify Ukraine. Mark. So a fiasco that proved to be, uh, as you just uh, hinted there, uh, a big hit uh, in Russian propaganda circles. Tell us more about this. That's right. Following this uh, diplomatic incident, pro-Russian accounts started sharing uh, this image online since September 27th. Uh, this post on X has already received over 300 and 85,000 views on the platform where we see this stamp bearing the face of Yaroslav Hunka uh, claiming that this is a new stamp that Ukrainian authorities started circulating on Ukraine, a stamp that reads Heroes Don't Die. And here's the exact same post on a Facebook as well where they claim that the Ukrainian Postal Service is now issuing a stamps with the face of a World War II SS and Nazi veteran Yaroslav Honko. Uh, the same information was even uh, shared uh, by the Russian embassy in uh, Kenya and uh, even by the Russian embassy in the UK who uh, deleted this post, but not before screenshots were made. Mark. Indeed, you can't trust any of those people you just flashed up there, can you? Because it's all fake. Um, so did Ukraine really issue those stamps? Uh, following the Nazi around Canada? I think I know the answer, no. You know the answer, Mark. We went to the Ukraine uh, Postal Service website where there is uh, no straight trace whatsoever of this stamp that was recently shared on the viral claims online. We also searched, however, uh, the words Yaroslav Hunko in Ukraine and on their website, uh, which yielded no results as well. So what we did, we analyzed the stamps that we saw on the Ukraine Postal Service's website and all of them include this inscription in Cyrillic alphabet that reads Ukraine and following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. They also all have Ukraine written in it in Aladdin as well, uh, which is not the case for the viral stamp that we saw online. Because if you also look closely at this stamp, there's this a sequence of numbers that you see in the far left, uh, this barcode that if you enter into a search on Google, for example, yields all the same results. We got the same results on eBay, Amazon, and even on the Ukrainian Postal Service website where we got the same stamp, which is not the stamp we saw on the viral claims, but this one, where we see a Ukrainian soldier, we see the Mariupol theater, and we even see this woman carrying a baby amongst other elements, but a stamp that was released on August 24th, 2022, for Ukraine's Independence Day, which marked the six month anniversary of the, of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. So what we see here is a, a fake a stamp uh, using the face of Yaroslav Hunka, the ex-Nazi uh, veteran from World War II, uh, using the image that was extracted uh, from the day he received the standing ovation uh, in the Canadian Parliament. Mark. Catalina, thank you very much indeed. It looked as false as anything, those, uh, that stamp in the minute you, you patched it up for us and clearly showing there what uh, the problem is with these things. But as you point out, so many people retweet, tweet, view, uh, share. And obviously what we need to do is actually sort of debunk these things, uh, as the, the phrase goes, to show what the truth actually is. So Catalina, thank you for truth 
or fake. Thanks to Yuka for the business, as always. Looking forward to that robot for Christmas. I've made a note of that yeah. one completely. And uh, thanks to you for watching too. Stay with us. More to come. Life in Paris.